Hey guys, this is Kevin with the Movie Prison, and today we're in Chris's basement building a $15 steady cam. Now, Zach came from the Final Cut King claim that you can make a steady cam by getting supplies from your local hardware store for under $15. Now, today we went to uh, Home Depot and got the supplies, and we're going to build a steady cam today and see if it really works for under $15. Now, Chris is going to show you all the tools and parts you need to make the steady cam. Hey, this is Chris Hart with the Movie President, and as Kevin introduced me, I'm going to show you and explain what parts you're going to need to build this $15 steady cam. So, the first part we have is a half inch galvanized steel uh, metal flange. Need that, you'll need uh, about three three fourths inch wood screws, you'll need three half inch galvanized steel pipes. We did about 10 inches long for ours. Um, you'll need the T intersection piece as well, another half inch obviously. Um, two end cap pieces. Um, and you'll also need uh, a quarter inch machine bolt. A two and a half pound weight. And then uh, lastly, obviously, you'll need a piece of wood and then a power drill with a quarter inch drill bit. The first step you're going to want to do is connect your steel pipes and your connectors. This will kind of serve as your where you're going to grip and hold on to and serve as the base of the steady cam. Next step is to secure the flange to the one inch block of wood. Now this flange is going to serve as uh, a base for the pipes which is going to hold your camera and the block is going to hold the camera to the pipes. So now we're going to secure that. Okay, the reason that didn't work is because we had it in reverse, but now we're ready to go. Didn't come out all the way. Well, I think we may have gotten just a little too short of a bolt. <laughs> we are really taken out. Yep. Well, we're kind of doing this like the extremely ghetto way because we don't feel like going to the store again and buying new screws. So we're just kind of like chiseling down the hole so that it'll fit in better. Um, don't do it like this at home if you want to try it. Remember to get longer machine bolts than this. Here's a finished product. For the most part, we had some problems screwing in the bottom here, but that can always be changed. We got our two and a half pound weight on here, and our pipes were all put together now, so let's go ahead and see it in action. I'm gonna kill you! No! No, don't kill me! I gotta show what it looks like. 